mistakes a lot of people make when it comes to buttons in Game Maker is they'll make individual sprites and individual objects for each button that they want to add into the game. Now sometimes you have to do that, but the majority of the times, especially when it comes to things like main menus, you don't have to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you the correct way to make a reusable button, kind of like what you see in my game right here on the top left. Now this is the main menu, or at least the beginnings of it, and on the top left you see these four buttons, but if you look closely you can see it's the same sprite for each button, but they say different things. I also added a nice little mouse over effect, and uh, I'll show you how to do that in the end of the video if we have a little bit extra time. So let's go ahead and make these buttons. So I have a new Game Maker project, and the first thing we're going to do is create the sprite for our button. So I'll show you about what you need. Uh, let's go to File, New. Now you can make this whatever size that you want. I'm just going to make this 40 width, uh, actually wrong one, 200 width, 40 height. And again, you can have whatever size buttons you want. Just make sure that all your text will fit into the button. And I'm just going to fill this square with, or this rectangle with one color. Then I'm going to go to Image, and then down to Buttonize and when you do this the thickness might be up here and you can just kind of move it down around here so it actually looks like a, a real live button so we're going to accept that so we have our first button and the only sprite we actually need is this make sure that you center your sprite this is very important if you don't center it the text will not be in the correct place so center it next thing we're gonna do is create a font and we'll just call this font under slash button choose a font that you like I'm just gonna choose something random here and uh, you can kinda play with that and then we're gonna make our object button assign it a sprite and then we're gonna add a draw event and add code now the first line of code we are gonna add is draw under slash self and all that will do is basically draw out whatever sprite we have set for our object. So that'll be our first line of code. The next code is draw set h align fa center. The next line is draw set under slash v align fa middle. And what these two lines of code do is make sure that the text for the button is exactly in the middle of the button. So this sets the horizontal uh, position and this one will set the vertical one so the next thing we're going to do is set the color for our font which you can do like this choose a color and then we will set our font and lastly we'll draw our text draw under slash text x y and then we're going to put a variable in that argument called uh, text and we'll manipulate this variable here in a second. Go ahead and accept that. Click OK. Now we have two rooms here. The first one is room main menu. The second one is room level because one of the buttons is going to go to level one. Now there's nothing in here, but just use your imagination. And just pretend that's a really fun game. So in our main menu, we are going to add our buttons. And let's add two of them. And the first button will be to play the game. The second button will be to exit and close the game. So you can have as many buttons as you want. You just have to follow the same step-by-step -step process. So we're going to have two buttons. And for our top button, we're going to right-click on it and click Creation Code. And now we're going to set that variable that was called text. So write text equals, and then in quotations, write what you want the button to say. So within the quotation, we'll type Play Game. We're also going to add one more variable called Action. And we're going to give that the value of zero. Every button is going to have a variable called action, but every button has to have its own unique number. So we'll start out at zero. Go ahead and accept that. Now let's do the same thing for our next button. And again, you have to do this for every button that you add in the room. And the text will be exit game. And the action will give that the value of one. Okay. So now go back to your object button, and we will add an event, and it will be a left released event. Let's add code, 
and we're going to add what's called a switch statement. If you don't know what a switch statement is, you can go back in my tutorials. I cover this. And what we're going to type is switch, and then in, uh, we're going to put action in there. And then we're going to add the curly brackets, and then we're going to do an indent. And we're going to type case zero, and then a colon. Click enter, do another uh, indent. We're going to say room under slash go to room uh, level one. Break. And then we're going to go down a couple, go backspace, do a backspace, and then type case one, colon, indent, game under slash end, and then type break. So again, this is a switch statement. So basically, it's writing off that action variable and it's saying if action is equal to zero or case zero, then go to level one. If action is equal to case one, then uh, end the game. So this will make our buttons work, and that's really all that you have to do. So let's play the game. You probably notice switch statements are really a lot like if statements, they're just a lot neater. And our buttons are there. The text is in the center of the button. We can click them, play game, and it goes to the room level one. We can play it again and see that exit game works as well. So it's that easy, and this is a great way to work with buttons, especially with main menus. Uh, exit game, click it, and it should close the game, and it did. One other thing, and uh, this is just if you want to add a nice mouse over effect, go ahead and open up your sprite button and duplicate this just by copy and pasting it. Go to the second one, double click, go to image, colorize, and yeah, let's make it a nice shade of orange. So now we have two sprites within our sprite button, blue and then orange, and the orange will be what it looks like when our mouse goes over it. Accept that. Now let's go to our object button and add uh, a create event, and type in image under slash speed, and put that equal to zero. And that'll just make sure that the button will not animate and go all kinds of uh, do you know go back and forth between those two sprites. Then add a mouse enter event and type image under slash index equals one. And then we'll add a mouse leave event and we'll say image under slash index equals zero. And basically all that's doing is going back and forth between subimage 0, which is blue, and subimage 1, which is orange. And you can see it'll only work when our mouse enters and leaves the button. So let's play the game. Isn't this exciting? Reusable buttons. Hey, this will really help out a lot of people, I hope. So now when we mouse over the buttons, we have a nice mouse over effect. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. If you need any help, just uh, or you have any questions then please leave a comment if you like this video please click the like button and it would really help out a lot if you subscribe to this channel if this video helped you and you want to see more so thank you guys have a happy new year